yummy things on deck for you today. I'm excited. It's a beautiful Saturday here. And we have been grilling up some corn fresh on the grill. It is summertime and we are inspired today by the Farmer's Market Bounty, which we are going to start with the grilled corn that just came off the barbecue. So let's get going here. We are going to be making a couple yummy things today. Um, I get my music stopped there. There we go. We are going to be making a yummy uh, barbecued corn and avocado salad. And then we're also going to be making death by chocolate cookies because you know that the RV sales are up a thousand percent. That is the statistic that we found online this morning that RV sales are up a thousand percent. So this death by chocolate recipe is something that you can make uh, in a cast iron skillet while you're camping because we uh, understand that a thousand percent more people are going to be camping in their new RVs. And we know several of our friends who have have new brand new R, uh, RVs. So this is a recipe that you can use um, either in the, uh, the oven, which is how I will be making them today, but it is also good for your RV on your campfire. So we're going to get started here. I saved one piece of the, this corn here to shuck for you guys. I have four um, cobs of corn in here. Well, first I'm going to start with the onions. So hold on a second. So behind me, I have, what, what, what are you saying here, director? Director is giving me notes here to do so, so, uh, something. Okay, so I have in here, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. Hey, Mary Chris, how are you? It sounds like we might have to do some fish recipes. My husband is fishing in San Diego. So hopefully he brings us home something and maybe you can come on and we'll make something fish-like. Fresh fish, home caught. Um, so in the pan here, I've got the olive oil and I'm going to put the onion. It's about a half of a red onion. And then the poblanos I have here, um, I actually roasted them a little bit. Two poblano chilies. And, an, and, a, and a hatch chili, because hatch chilies are in season. So I thought, well, what the heck? They look beautiful. Let's get one of those and throw it in. So I roasted them on the flame, put them in my, uh, charred them up, put them in the brown bag for a few minutes to let the skins get soft, peel the skins off, and then I have chopped them into a fine dice. Now you don't have to roast them first, but I just did because I like the flavor. Um, when you roast a chili fresh, so that is what is in here, is the, um, not heavily ro roasted, they're not fully cooked, but I just added a step there, you don't have to, but I did. So in goes the chilies, oh my gosh, those look so beautiful, they smell so good. This is going to be yummy, 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 yummy. So if you're watching, comment so I can see you, so I know you're there, because I can see you guys watching, but I can't see your names unless you comment. So in the pan there is our chilies and our onion. Get that going while I finish up this corn. So my assistant, hey Susan, how are you? I have um, my assistant, my crew, uh, barbecued this corn for me. So I already have the four pieces in my bowl here, but then I'm just going to shuck it. Oh my gosh, those yummy grill marks. Yum! So I'm going to rip off my husk here, toss it, and then there's a couple ways to do this so you don't make a total mess. I'm using a bowl. Now if I had a bunt pan that had the right kind of a middle, then one of the ways is to use your bunt pan and put the corn on top of the bunt pan so your corn doesn't go everywhere. But I'm just using a big bowl for the same reason so the corn doesn't go everywhere. So I'm just going to slice it off here fresh summer corn because man the farmers market things are so yummy right now like you can't decide what to pick so I didn't know what I was going to make today and I'm like well we'll go to the market and we'll see what looks good and it is the height of summer corn avocado peppers so that is my inspiration for today so there we go my last cob there all curls off and in the pan and hey Susan, did I say hi to you already? How's it going? Welcome. 
So we're making an avocado corn poblano salad. I've got the poblanos and the onions cooking away there in the pan. And then we're going to make death by chocolate in the cast iron skillet. Oh my goodness! For all my RVers that need new campfire recipes. And of course, whatever's called death by chocolate is a crowd pleaser for sure. Um, so I'm going to let that cook for a minute and then I'm going to add into there some garlic. And I have four cloves of garlic that I chopped fresh because of course everything is better when you do it all fresh. Get it out of my thing there. Oh my gosh. Because what is not good with garlic? Yummy! Okay. And then um, I'm actually going to, I'm going to toss this, I think, in this bowl and then we'll get started with our next recipe when that is cooking away. Now we chiffonade, chiffonaded, is that a word, chiffonaded, um, some basil on the show the other day, but I'm going to do a little bit more and show you again. I get a lot of questions on how to do uh, little techniques like this. So let me pull my board down so my Instagrammers can see me do, do this. So I took my basil, fresh basil, and it's all washed, and I stacked it up here in, in a stack, and I'm going to roll it in a circle. Hey Joyce, how are you? And I'm just going to chop it into thin strips here, and that is called chiffonade. I'm sure if you have an accent, where's Francois when I need her for the accent? <laughs> but there you go, boom, and look, you have your little perfect little strips of basil, yum! So we have shipping out of the basil. And then I also need to juice one of these limes. So I have my handy dandy fancy set, uh, set up here for the lime. So let's get this juiced here. Hey Florence, how are you? We are making corn and avocado salad and then we are gonna make death by chocolate in the cast iron skillet. Oh my goodness, I know. Yum! So I've just got my onions and my poblano and my hatched chili going behind me in the pan. And I'm just gonna juice this lime here. Oh my gosh, yeah, it smells so good. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of green onion also into my mix back here. But I'm gonna save some of this green onion to toss in fresh too since it's a salad. Hey Jen, how are you? I'm not a huge fan of raw onion, so to have a recipe that you get to cook the onion a little bit, especially when it's a salad, I was like, ooh, that looks good. Yum. So okay, so now we have in there all of our things are go going here. Onion, garlic, corn. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in our pan here. So put a little pepper. And some salt. Hey Lisa, how are you? I am making corn avocado salad and we are also making death by chocolate. So too. Okay, you guys, look how yummy this is. Like five minutes or so sauteed there. So I'm going to dump this in, in here with my five ears of roasted corn that we just put on the barbecue for a few minutes. Left it in the husks, barbecued it till it was cooked, and charred. And the barbecue gives the corn such a good flavor. Oh my gosh, yum. So, what's that? Turn that off. So in here, you guys can see I've got the, the poblanos, the hatch, the corn, onion, garlic, salt and pepper. Yum! And I'm going to toss in here. Because I know who my audience is, I'm going to toss in one fresh chopped jalapeno. Because we like it spicy around here. Make it spicy! So we got it spicy. And then I'm going to add in our basil that we just chiffonaded our basil. So in that goes. Yum! I'm going to put the rest of the green onions that are fresh. Cooked a few and left a few in fresh. I'm going to put the juice of our lime in. And then 
avocado. I'm going to dice, let's see, this one's a little softer. I'm going to dice this avocado real quick and toss it in. And that will be our corn poblano hatch avocado salad yumminess. Yes. I will taste it real quick and make sure it has enough salt. And then I will show you guys. I got out a glass dish so you guys could see too. Okay, you see I just diced that avocado inside the shell. And so it just comes out in perfect little, little squares. And I love to put the avocado in. I'm gonna grab it, get my seed out. As you guys can see, I'm just gonna go into a pattern here, straight down into the avocado. Cut down to the shell, turn, cut it the other way, crosswise, and boom, we got squares. Squeeze it out, scoop it out. If I had a spoon in my hand, I could probably more delicately, gracefully use a spoon and spoon it out, but I have a knife in my hand, so that's what I'm using. <laughs> so what are you guys all up to on this Saturday? Oh, don't touch the chilies. Oh, Jen, I think I'm good. I cut so many chi uh, chilies around here, but I know I have done where you touch the chilies and touch your eyes and it's not a good day, right Jen? <laughs> you start crying like a baby, worse than the onions for sure. Okay, so avocado is going in. So, oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. This is just, oh, it smells so good. We've got our basil mixed it in there with the chilies. Oh my goodness. I can tell already this is going to need more pepper for my taste. <sighs> yeah, that's true. I always have to, re to, re to remember, Jen, because we eat so many jalapenos and serranos around here to wipe off my board <laughs> to make sure I get my cutting board, you know, wiped off before you put something else onto it. Oh my goodness. So there we go. And I have a glass dish I'm going to put this in so you guys can see. And there we are with our easy corn, avocado, uh, peppers, summer, farmer's market bounty salad. So I got a glass dish so you guys could see what I was doing here and how beautiful this turned out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Killer. So check that out. Yummy, huh? Okay, so now we're going to tackle the death by chocolate. I mean, this recipe, I was like, are you kidding me? We are just going to have to try that. So let me pull my mixer here, Instagrammers, into the frame. And we will start here. Let me switch recipes. Make sure I get everything in while I'm talking to you guys. Make sure it all gets in, uh, in the bowl. So, we're going to start with butter. Because how else would you start for cookies for death by chocolate in a cast iron pan. So I have one stick of butter here melted. Yeah. Melted under the lights here. And then I have half a cup of brown sugar. Hey Tracy and Deborah, how are you you guys? We just made this yummy corn avocado salad um, with poblanos and hatched chilies. And now I'm making death by chocolate in a cast iron skillet. For all the RVers that are now buying RVs, you can do this on the campfire too. So I'm just going to whisk up real quick the sugars and the butter. And then let's do the vanilla. Let me get my vanilla spoon here. I have them. Here we go. So let's do the vanilla. Of course, Costco is my favorite vanilla. And we will do two teaspoons in here. I always are very generous with the vanilla. And then the salt. Salt, one teaspoon of salt, measure carefully. Because you know I always measure carefully when I am baking. So teaspoon of salt going in. And then let those get creamed together. And then we're going to do the baking powder and the baking soda, sauce for both. And we're going to do two teaspoons of powder. We'll start with that one. Two teaspoons of powder. Oh my gosh. Yum! There we go. And 
Saturday night during this whole thing since March. Most fun thing we've done this whole season. And our neighbors we've been playing with, we're making chicken wings and got some T bones. So I'm like, hmm, what can we put with that that everyone else is probably barbecuing too? So I'm like, well, let's make salad, yummy one, and then we'll make dessert. Yum! So scrape this down because this is going to be so cool to get this into the cast iron pan. Yes. Yummy. Oh my gosh. Let's get this scraped down. I have a six quart KitchenAid, so sometimes small recipes, they tend to ride up the sides. There's nothing left in the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> hey, Seal, how are you, girl? How are the fires? Are you guys okay? Are you guys evacuated? What is happening? I'm sure the smoke is so brutal. You get with the smoke, it's like standing next to a campfire that you can't get away from. Not the kind of campfire that has death by chocolate on the campfire, right? <laughs> then just make sure I got everything in here. We got butter, sugar, the sodas, the chocolate pudding, eggs, and then I am going to do the flour which I have measured here. We have two cups of flour going in. I'm going to put that in here. Oh, good, I got it all. Yay! And then I have two cups, or one bag, but it equals two, uh, two cups, something I have learned since the show. And of course, guitar and chocolate chips, they're the absolute best. Never use anything less. Oh, good. See, I'm glad you're not evacu evacuated. Because, oh my good goodness. But be packed and ready to go. Because it can happen in a, sec in a second. Okay, I've got the bag of chocolate chips. And then, two cups of crushed pretzels are going in. And you could do this by hand, but it would take me too long on, ca on camera. So I'm doing it in the bowl. And that is, oh my gosh, it smells so good because what is yummy is like salt and sweet together. And then look what we're going to do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. So here's our dough. We want to see what it lo looks like there. We've got our pretzels, etc. So I'm going to move this out of the way because I'm going to bring over the cast iron pan. And I'm going to, it's actually... So it was a little bit warm. I think it's okay. And I'm going to spray it generously so we don't have a total mess here. Hey, Christine, how are you? 
We're making death by chocolate. So spraying the cast iron pan, and I am also, I think I'm gonna spray my half cup measure here. I'm gonna spray it a little bit just so it comes out, especially since I'm on camera here. Don't want it to stick. So I'm gonna take our yummy dough we just made, and I'm gonna press half cup portions of this dough into our cast uh, 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 iron pan. See, see what's happening here, it's sticking. So hold on a second, let me get it out gracefully. Okay, I wonder how, there, there we go. First one's always hard. So I'm gonna stack these up around the pan, and so we're gonna make them the same size, because why do you use a measuring cup or a scoop when you make cookies and stuff? It's so they're the same size so they cook in the same time. But that is how this works. And so I'm gonna um, make our little balls here. I think I can do it with my hands, about the same. Fill this up with our balls, and then when we are ready to cook it, you can either cook this like on your open campfire, um, or you can cook it in the oven, which is how I'm gonna cook, gonna, gonna cook, uh, cook, uh, cook this. But it says you can place the skillet over indirect heat, close the grill, and bake for 30, min 30 minutes. So if you are in your new RV and you are camping, you can do that. Or alternatively, you can bake at 350 degrees in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes, which is what we are gonna do. And then we are going to serve this. You can serve this with whipped cream, ice cream, good coffee, whatever is your ple pleasure. Hey, Gloria, I understand your daughter is headed to Louisiana to see you. That's exciting. Happy for you guys. Get a visit. Hey, Erin, how are you? Christine Carr, how are you, Chris? How's it going? We are making death by chocolate. We already made our corn avocado salad. So for your yummy farmer's market summer bounty, that is what I am making here today. Oh my goodness, this just looks killer. Aunt Erin, hey Stacy, how are you? Yes, so fun to meet you la uh, la uh, last night, that was so fun. And now I'm just filling up my pan here. So I have dough left because I didn't pick a huge pan. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. So look at this. Oh my gosh. A couple more chocolate chips. I mean, seriously, you guys, death by chocolate. How yummy is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we wash my hands so we can do our birthday shout outs. Cause, heaven forbid, you know, I wouldn't wanna get my fancy birthday shout out hat dirty with my death by chocolate hands. <laughs> so, Birthday shout outs today. Happy birthday to Julie Carver. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. And Mila, happy birthday. She has just moved away up actually into the Napa area. So I hope she's okay. I'm in Connie from high school. Happy birthday. I just saw you guys are having a birthday party for you. I wish I was there with all the high school girls in Virginia. So happy birthday to you. And then Constance Rare. Dear friend and Dr. Constance has been working hard through all this. It was her birthday yesterday. And then Darlene Santiago, happy birthday to you. So, oh my gosh, look at all our birthdays that we've had. Um, hey Nick, how are you? Good to see you. And then our giveaway today, if you have commented or liked these videos, either here on Facebook or on YouTube, then you are in the pool here for the drawing. So our drawing today is these really cool, because of course summertime and camping and RVing, for those of you that are. And if you have a new RV, post pictures. We want to see, especially the new people <laughs> that are going to learn all about, all, uh, all, uh, all about it. So today's giveaway that I didn't get unwrapped are these really cool stainless steel with a lid little coffee slash wine slash wa uh, water slash you know mommy needs a little help out on her homeschool schooling cups the kids will think it's it's coffee really they will so that's i might give away today i have two of those cute little um stainless steel travel lugs maybe you're not traveling maybe you're just trying to get through the homeschool <laughs> oh my goodness school started for us i don't know a week ago 
We can, let's see, a week ago, Wednesday, junior year, man, classes are hard. Winner, Tina Thompson! And you're in Colorado, but you are my winner today. And then our second winner today is, do, do, do. oh my gosh, let's see, Sharon Young, winner, winner, my neighbor Sharon, who will be getting a chance to taste these yummy things we made to, today, because those that live nearby have had all kinds of yummy things from the show. <laughs> So remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always choose a good attitude and always do, do your best. And then there was one more thing I wanted to share. Do we have time, director? Okay, I do have time to share one more thing. It is national, oh, it just went, went away. It is National Be an Angel Day. And I just thought I had to share this because especially for everyone, all of us, you know, everything in the media, social media, news, I think we all need to celebrate today, National Be an Angel Day, and it encourages you to do good deeds and kindness to others by supporting those in need and inspiring others to kindness. We display an act of an angel here on earth. The day also recognizes those who have been angels to us. Sometimes we have a terrible day, whether it's bad news or poor planning, we all have them, heaven knows. But a kind word, a hug, or even a pleasant atmosphere makes a difference. So um, take your time to, to today if you see someone in need, if the opportunity arises, offer to assist maybe with an elderly neighbor in their lawn care or a meal. Um, don't uh, overlook the single parents with their kids, especially those that are homeschooling. Offer to watch the kids, bring them a meal, do what you can. Um, to help out. I know that everyone with young kids is totally stressed out. I would be for sure if I had little ones that I had to deal with and teach them school and hear mom, 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 mom <laughs> all day long. Um, so just take your time today and be an angel to, su to someone or call up someone who's been an angel to you and thank them. So we love when you guys watch. You can follow us here. Uh, please go to our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate, and subscribe because we're almost to 1,000, and then we can broadcast from there too. And remember that we love you guys to watch live. If you have any family favorites you'd like us to make, send them in. I'd love to make them. Visit us at GaryandLisa.com.